Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Nirva. For you guys that are new to my channel, I just want to let you guys know, welcome to my jungle! <laughs> I am obsessed with this backdrop. Like, this is heaven for me. Fun fact about me, I am obsessed with trees. I am like a huge tree lover. I just love the green, the nature, like just the everything about trees is just so calming to me. I love trees. So this is life for me. Like I feel like I am the queen of the jungle, okay? <laughs> so for today's look, I'm just going to do a very natural makeup, no makeup look. Mm -hmm. All right, for you guys that want to see how I created this look, especially if you are a beginner at doing makeup, a beginner makeup artist, or you just want something very light, very natural that you could do for work, for school, um, for anywhere that you don't want to look like or feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup, this look is perfect for you. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notifications, okay? <laughs> All right, so want to see how I create this look? Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So first thing I'm going to start off with is my Melanie Mills Radiant Body Glow in color Deep Bronze. I am obsessed with this product. Like, literally, I've been watching Sandra Deluxe for a really long time. And she always used this product and for some reason I don't know why for all these years I was so asleep on this product but now that I'm not I'm obsessed with it I just love the glow that it gives me I'm usually more of a matte um, face but with like a really glowy finish so certain parts of my air of my face I like it to be very matte I don't like to put um, too much of a glowy finish there because I'm more on like normal to oily but this product right here is amazing because it's transfer proof so it doesn't make you oily throughout the day it just really make your makeup look like you're glowing from within and that I love I don't like to look greasy and extremely dewy and that's not the look not for me at least maybe for some people but not for me so I tend to have pores right here. So I have to put the Professional by Benefit right on my cheek right here where I tend to get my pores, which I absolutely dislike, but thanks for this product, I am able to just bear it all. Okay, so now that my skin is prime, I'm going straight into foundation. So for a makeup or makeup look, you don't necessarily have to do foundation. Honestly, it's up to you. I like to do foundation because as you can see, I have my freckles right here. I have a little bit of discoloration. I have um, just, I have a little bit of something going on with my skin. So I like it to be completely even. So for foundation, I am using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I'm like obsessed with it right now. I haven't used this foundation in such a long time, but now that I'm using it again, I'm just like heaven. I love the coverage, I love the color, I love how it looks on my skin. I'm just like foundation, concealer, highlight, boom, I'm done. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to head out the door. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. I love, 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 love the coverage. And then look how glowy my skin looks. Even though it's a matte foundation, my skin just look nice and like more satiny. Like it doesn't look too matte and it doesn't look too glowy either with the foundation. It's like, it's a perfect mix. That's why I'm like obsessed with this product right here. So the Melody Mills, it come in different shades. You don't have to do the deep bronze. For my complexion, that one is perfect. And I could probably do the rose gold as well, but it has some different shades. It has six different shades actually that you could play with. I will name all the shades um, in the description. 
so you guys could look at it try them out and see which one works best with your complexion but this one works amazing I use it on my client today and um, I told I'm gonna do something new to your makeup I'm gonna go ahead and add some glow from within <laughs> um, this is just a new product I've been playing with and I really like it and I think you're gonna like it too and she's like yeah girl do your thing I love the fact that my clients trust me so much I love it I absolutely love it it's an amazing feeling so I'm just gonna take that foundation to clean up my brows usually I'll do this part before I actually do um, I actually start the video but I wanted to show you guys this part since I don't show you the whole brow situation it's just weird to me because my brows um, one brow look longer than the other on camera but in person it looks like it's actually shorter than the other brow so it's extremely frustrating for me because I'm like it looked totally different in person and it looks on camera so I think that's why people usually say like um brows are meant to be cousins or sisters and not twins and I'm like huge with like twin looking brows I need my brows to look like twin or well, twins I'm just putting the foundation all over my eyes because like I said this is a makeup no makeup look so it's more minimum makeup um, and once you do eyeshadow to me it takes the look to another level so for me like a makeup no makeup look should be just a flawless face all that extra liner all that that take it to a different like it's no longer a makeup no a makeup no makeup look it's more like a natural glam once you add eyes into it I just like to do like a blush just to give my eye a little bit of warmth so my eyes don't look so naked but I don't like to put like a whole eyeshadow like eyeshadow no which is perfect because if you're a beginner or if you're like an upcoming makeup artist and you just want a safe look to just build from this is the look to do that beautiful now that my skin is nice and flawless and even I'm gonna go straight into concealer You guys know I like to use the Pro Longwear Concealer with the 24-hour Smooth Finish Concealer by MAC in the same shade, MC45. That is what I'm using right now. And you don't have to do a two-step concealer process like I'm doing. Um, I do a two-step because I actually like a more highlight look underneath my eyes. Like if you want and you didn't necessarily want to do um, this step, you could literally just do the one concealer just to lightly brighten up underneath your eyes. So this is just the Pro Longwear Concealer. So if you want, you don't necessarily have to do a two process concealer you could just do one concealer like this just to brighten up underneath your eyes a little bit and even out the face but I personally like to do the two step <laughs> I like to do two concealers because I like to do a more of a brighter highlight underneath my eyes that's just more of my preference and what I like so this is part of my makeup no makeup look you don't necessarily have to do it unless you you're like me and you like to look a little bit more highlighted underneath the eye but like I said it's not a necessity it's more of a preference see this like it does something to me like it does something to my character <laughs> like that's how I feel like <laughs> it just does something to me when I do this when I do that highlight it just does something to my face that I just cannot go without when I do my makeup. Mm -hmm. 
do that. I'm gonna get that nose highlight. All right, to set underneath my eyes, I am going to use the Sasha Buttercup mixed with the Ben Nye Banana Powder because that is just my favorite thing to use underneath my eyes. Is it everywhere I use a highlight or a concealer right now? So now I'm just gonna go back with the brush and just blend out that concealer underneath my eyes some more. So once I set it with the powder, there's no creasing. That is like key to it not creasing. A lot of people always ask me this and I'm always saying, this is how you have to prevent it from not creasing. You have to blend it and literally go right into setting it. See? Look how beautiful that looks. How beautiful and smooth. I really want to try some different products to set underneath my eyes, but I'm just obsessed with this. It's hard for me to switch. Even on my clients, like I use the same thing on my clients. Um, on more of my white clients, I use the Laura Mercier and the uh, RCMA um, translucent powder. But for anybody around my complexion or deeper, this is what I use. And I love it, I'm obsessed. I love how it looks, I love how it looks on camera. I love how it sets, like, it's just my go-to. I'm like, if it's not broken, why try to fix it? It don't need to be fixed. <laughs> but you know, I know there's some amazing products out there that I could use and that would be just as amazing. But right now, this works. So I'm sticking to that. Just know when I use something different, it has like some competition. Like it needs to be on point. It needs to be everything and more because I'm so obsessed with this product for me to try something that doesn't work just as good. It's just gonna be like, you know, my brush doing that. getting some brush hair on my face like that see like this is beautiful you could literally add mascara from setting powder and be done but I like to do a little bit more <laughs> I also even provide this as a service for my clients like I have a makeup no makeup look service that um, for my clients that's not big on makeup period and it's like the first time you'll be surprised to hear like a lot of my clients, I am the first person to touch their face. If not, they probably um, had somebody else do their makeup before and they was probably a little too heavy handed with the product and it was just like a major turn off for them. And they come in kind of just off the trust of how my work look or a word of mouth and they're like, you know, I want to trust you or I do trust you but I had such an experience that wasn't the best experience not that it was a horrible experience it just wasn't the best experience for them so I provide the makeup no makeup look for those people you know that just want something extremely light and extremely natural and especially also people like myself that's not a huge eyeshadow fan you know this look is perfect for that person look at that flawless like who don't want to look flawless? Everybody want to look flawless. Um, the powder I just used is the MAC um, Mineralized Powder. It's my absolute favorite powder. Honestly, I've really been using this powder for centuries. Um, again, I use it on my clients, um, whether they're oily or dry. Notice I don't use it in my T-zone. So if you use it in your T-zone, it's definitely going to bring you some shine throughout the day because it's supposed to give you like that natural glow to your skin make your makeup look like you have really minimum makeup on so just make your skin look nice and glowy so if you're oily don't put it in your t-zone so to contour I'm just using um, again <laughs> the black radiance true complexion contour palette in color medium dark i just love that brown i love that deep brown i 
love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, you know, I'm looking at my face and, you know, my face is a bit rounder than usual. So, you know, I'm doing a little bit more contour. I'm kind of just building that contour up. And I am going to do a little bit something to my nose. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I've been doing like a nose contour so much like I guess to do a makeup no makeup look with no no nose contour is kind of weird for me right now so definitely yes to the nose contour so yeah look how gorgeous that look it's light it's natural but yet it's very flawless so now I'm gonna go ahead and just warm up my skin a little bit and add some color um, for that I'm going to be using the MAC raisin blush <laughs> i look at the camera like this for some of my clients or some people that already know me <laughs> um for a really long time and know have you know seen me do my makeup or talk about products that i use raisin is one of those products for me man like i'm just obsessed with raisin raisin is my raisin is my thing i love raisin i really do so i'm gonna take a little bit of that and just brush it on my lid well really on my whole eye just to give my eye some color see like that so now my eyes doesn't look naked see? that looks gorgeous look at that so now let's highlight with a powder um, to highlight today, I am going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit and Color Sun Dipped. And I'm going to be using these two shades right here. I'm going to mix these two together. Right there. What I love about this highlighter is the fact that I don't have to wet it. Usually, um, when I put on highlighter, I usually wet it with um, a setting spray just so I could really get like that really pretty highlight without it looking so powdery on. But to me, I feel like this does that for me. And a little bit on my nose. Cupid's bow. Chin. Because I like to glow. I don't know about you guys, but I live in South Florida and I like to glow. <laughs> I like my skin to glow. So I'm just going to take the brush that I use for the powder and just soften out that highlight. Just blend it into the blush. To me, it just looks so much more natural like that. Like that. All right. So now for the eyes, I'm just going to add a black eyeliner just to kind of complete that eye. And this is just the Stila Black Waterproof Liner. Like that. It does so much for the look. If you're not going to use a black liner, you could use a brown liner. You don't have to do black, but you have to do something to your eye. It just ties everything in and it just gives it more of a look. Alright, so now we're just going to add some mascara. I am using the Inextreme 3D Mascara by MAC. I love what this mascara does to my lashes. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I am obsessed with this mascara. So I would say, you know, if you're not a huge lash person and you're just not that, you know, familiar with putting on lashes, you could do an amazing mascara. It doesn't have to be this one, whichever one works for you. It does so much to the eye. Look at that. 
it just open up your eyes and it just give you a look I have to do bottom mascara <laughs> I just have to do it I have to do bottom mascara like my makeup my eyes is not complete unless I have on um, Yeah, mine is not complete unless I have bottom mascara. It's just not complete. So now, I'm going to add a little bit more. This is another step that you could skip. You don't have to do this step. It's really up to you. But, um, but um, I like to add a little bit of a glow in my tear duct. So I'm just using the... MAC Gold Deposit just to add a little bit of that glow. I just feel like it does something to my eyes. It's not a necessity thing to do, but I just like what it does to my eyes. So I like to do that. If you want to give your eye like a little bit of a pop since you have no eyeshadow on, this is perfect because it gives it that, you know, that little pop. just like so so like I said you could leave your eyes like this or you could also if you want more of a pop you could add some really super natural lashes um, my most natural lashes that I carry is um, the make me up near the Elencia lashes they're really natural and they're mink lashes so you could reuse them up to a good 12 times Maybe more than that depends on how you take them off, how you clean them, how you take off the glue. But they're really soft, very natural, and they're just going to give me a little bit more of a pop. Yes. So now for the lips. For my lips, I am going to use the Bittersweet Liner. MAC is actually discontinuing. If not, they already discontinued. This lip liner, so I just want to use it up. <laughs> um, and I'm a brown liner type of girl, but I'm more like a cork chestnut. So this is in between a cork liner and chestnut liner by Mac. Hmm. So for lipstick, I am going to be using the MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick. It's a really pretty, it's a really pretty nude lip. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Vintage Lip Gloss to really finish that look. Because I'm a lip gloss type of girl. I'll do a matte lip, but I love a lip gloss, glossy lip, especially like a beautiful nude. Oh. All right guys, so this is the finished look. How pretty is this makeup no makeup look? This is the perfect makeup for a beginner, for someone that's not a huge makeup person. So, yep, here you guys go. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely comment below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe.